Hey, aloha everyone. Michelle Melendez with BlossomInnerWellness.com, StandTogetherHawaii.com, and this is also on the Voice of Kona radio show, 100.5 FM, if you want to follow me there. Uh, this video is going to be on what are the laws that the Hawaii governor has suspended. So I saw and I met uh, the, uh, again, I uh, met the uh, Big Island Mayor Roth a few times, and I saw him and I said, uh, the governor can't suspend laws. And he said, yes, he can. He goes, what laws are you suspending? I said, the housing laws. So I didn't know exactly which laws, so I looked them up. And I want to share them with you because we all need to see what, I mean, and not only that, but let me just share my screen because I want to show you guys. Um, hold on a second. I want to get the right page. So this is the first emergency proclamation that this governor, who was the first governor in history to do an emergency proclamation with no emergency. It's his opinion and his, it's his pro. He wants to do a project on housing. And so he created a whole emergency. He says, by the authority vested in me, by the state by the constitution and laws of the state of Hawaii, by the constitution and laws of the state of Hawaii. The constitution does not give him authority to do an emergency proclamation. That is a dictator, everybody. That is not, the constitution doesn't say anywhere in the constitution that a governor, a mayor, a president can do an emergency proclamation and suspend laws. There's nowhere in the Constitution or in the state or, or uh, actually here is where it says it. Here is where it says the emergency law. And so I want to show I want to show all of this to you guys so that we can be really clear on. Uh, oh, where is it at on the um, understanding our rights? Sorry, one more. Oh, where is it at? Here it is. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, you guys. Here it is. State of emergency. State of emergency 127A-14. The governor may declare the existence of a state of emergency in the state by procl proclamation. The governor, if the governor finds, if the governor finds that an emergency or disaster has occurred and that there is imminent damage or imminent danger or threat of emergency or disaster in any portion of the state. A mayor may declare exist same same thing, a state of emergency and a local state. This means if they just think that there's going to be an emer emergency or disaster, they can just declare a state of emergency uh, and do an emergency proclamation. That is not based on the Constitution. That is against the Constitution, absolutely 100% against the Constitution. This law needs to be revoked. It needs to be rescinded. And what is happening with every single time a governor or a mayor declares an emergency proclamation that is against the freedom of this country, and they, in my opinion, in my view, are treasonous traitors to this con our Constitution, because nowhere in the Bill of Rights says that a governor can suspend laws. So let's, let's go ahead and look at the laws that he has suspended. And uh, let's take a look at this here. So the first one which is right here. Ugh. Let me see here. He's got all of these rules, all these rules. I'm going to scroll down to where it says suspension of laws. Only a dictator suspends laws. The legislative body is the body that creates laws. And the legislative body should, in my opinion, have the power, only the legislative body have the power to suspend laws or change laws. And that is also... Um, when the legislative body does create laws, they create bills, the people testify on the bills, do they want the bills or not, and the legislative body, if they do not go with the will of the people, then they are violating their oath of office, they should be removed peaceably from office, or they should voluntarily step down if they are not going with the will of the people. Because uh, I do want to show you this one thing, and understand this, please understand this, that the Constitution of Hawaii, actually the Constitution, um, literally states, here it is, uh, the political power. Let me show you the political power that we have. Political power, Bill of Rights, State Constitution of Hawaii. All political power of this state is inherent in the people and the responsibility for the exercise thereof rests with the people. All government... All government is founded on this authority and the rights 
of individuals. All persons are free by nature and are equal in their inherent inalienable rights. Among these rights are the enjoyment of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness and acquiring the possession of property. Here's this is important part. This is really important. These rights cannot endure unless the people recognize their corresponding obligations and responsibilities. I've said this in, a, in another video. This is our obligation and our responsibility to make a stink about this, to say, Governor, no, Mayor, you guys cannot suspend laws because you feel like it, okay? This is a violation of your oath of office and you need to be peaceably removed from office or you need to voluntarily step down because you are going against the will of the people. Now, I do understand, and please do understand that this government is not a government anymore. It hasn't been a government for a very long time. It is a corporation. So there's a whole video I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna be interviewing a local um, doctor, chiropractor, amazing good friend of mine, a Hawaiian, who is going to be sharing some very amazing insights. So please take a look at the video tomorrow that I'm going to be posting an interview with him. But let's go through these laws that the um, that the governor just thinks he can just suspend laws because he feels like it. Okay, can't do that. Can't do that, governor. You just can't like, even though he has, he has done that. And um so I am creating an affidavit and getting it revised so that we can submit that and we can tell him from the people that he needs to be removed from office and step down and peaceably uh, in a peaceful way. And he also or voluntarily leave because these you can't just suspend laws. You're not a dictator. It's against our constitution. You cannot do this. This is not the will of the people. These are the laws he suspended. Additional powers. This is the... Uh, emergency act of uh, 127a this is totally totally 100 percent unconstitutional this emergency proclamation act unconstitutional additional powers in an em emergency period totally unconstitutional he has suspended the his historic preservation historic preservation you guys because his emergency is about housing so let's suspend the historical preservation law which states here it is uh sort of preservation the national park service carries out a wide variety of historical preservation works and programs works and programs to preserve history everybody to preserve history especially here in hawaii and he suspended this law he also has suspended um these are all the sections of it county organization and administration the county organization and administration, he suspended this law. And this is basically basically having the um, the county uh, oversee things. He, he suspended this, a civil service law. He suspended this law. And let me see here, where's this one? This one is, I believe it's right here. Uh, okay, this is another one. General provisions requires requirements of ethical public procurement. This is a law he suspended. All public employees shall conduct and participate in public procurement in an ethical manner. He suspended this law. So I have these open because I'm showing you all of these. Civil service and exemptions. This is a law he suspended. The state constitutes mandates that the employment of persons in the civil service as defined by law be governed by the merit principle, by the merit principle. He suspended this law. He suspended the collective bargaining governor, um, collective bargaining laws govern how public sector workers and their unions can negotiate wages and other terms of employment with their employers. He suspended this law. He's also suspended the one that uh, allows for public officers and employees uh, to be excluded from collective bargaining. So they can know public officers, employees are no longer excluded from public um, uh, collective bargaining of their wages and of, um, oh, this is my favorite law that he suspended, you guys. This is my most favorite law. He suspended the Hawaii revised statutes of public agency meetings and records. The sunshine law in Hawaii, oh, he suspended this meeting, meaning they can have meetings without public, without the public even knowing about it or giving testimony about it. So governor, government meetings are now behind closed doors and no public testimony is, is, can, can be allowed because he suspended this law. So how is this law gonna help the uh, housing? Because, it, oh, we're gonna get it through quicker. 
guess what else he's suspended? He suspended the, uh, let's see, related to purchase and health and human services. The purpose, purpose of this act is to amend procurement laws related to the purchase of health and human services to promote procurement efficacy programs, program successes, and government accountability. He suspended this law because because he's, you know, he really cares about homelessness. Let's suspend all these laws here. And there was um, another one that I wanted to talk about that he has suspended. So let me get to there. But this was the emergency he emergency proclamation he enacted in July. This one he enacted in September. I'll show you the date here. He enacted and enacted this one in, in um, Josh Green of Hawaii, September. And um, let me make sure that I've gotten all the laws he decided to suspend in this one. So yes, so where is it at? Suspension of laws. Yep, that emergency, uh, emergency powers. Yeah, yeah, got to have those emergency powers for the governor because you know he's a total dictator. Uh, county organization administration. We talked about that one. Civil service laws, collective bargaining. Collect talked about that one. General fund. And there was one more that I wanted to share with you. It's quite astronomical. It's like, are you freaking kidding me? So that was in September. So he did one in July. He did another one in September. And this one is in Oct October. October. Uh, he. This is the emergency proclamation that he signed in October. And I just want to give you guys the date. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. The date that he signed this, because this was the one in October. And showing you guys this, and then I'll show you the laws, and then we'll do, we'll talk, talk about this a little bit. Yep. October 2023. 20, okay. And when was the Maui fires? August. Eight, August 8th. 8-8. Eight, eight. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, here they are. These are the suspension of laws. Additional powers. County organization, we talked about that. Civil service, talked about that. General fund, all of these he suspended, you guys, because he's, he, he thinks he can just be a dictator. He's not uh, He's not a governor, he's a dictator. He, the Oh, and then the one more thing I wanted to share with this is that, I just wanna remind you guys, I said it this at the beginning, by the authority vested in me by the constitution, and laws of the state of Hawaii. The Constitution does not give him this power. It is exactly the opposite. According to the Constitution, he can't do this, but he's doing it. The laws of Hawaii, the, these laws, laws do not supersede the Constitution. And so there is a law that they created, the emergency proclamation law, but that doesn't supersede the constitution. So what he's done is absolutely violated his oath of office, 100 million percent. And um, to provide relief and disa disaster damages and losses and suffering to protect the health. Oh, I love this, I love this, I love this. By the authority vested in me by the constitution and laws of the state of Hawaii in order to provide relief, disaster, damages, losses and suffering and to protect the health, safety and welfare of the people. So he basically has stated that there's an emergency, a housing emergency, right? So he can just suspend laws and decide which laws and suspend the laws about public testimony, recording of the meeting, and allowing people in to the meeting. This is why he just leaves before public testimony. Because again, Hawaii is not a state. It's not even a government. It is a corporation. And he is the executive officer of this corporation so them doing testimony is just um, just kind of trying to appease us so that we can have a voice and get our feelings out, and then they ignore us. So here's the deal. I am creating an affidavit. I'm finishing it up. It's been reviewed. I have some edits to do on it. I'm going to be um, submitting it and telling that governor, you have violated your oath of office. And when that's ready, I'll let you know, and if you guys could help and submit it as well. This will need to go to a civil court case. I'm going to see it all the way through. No matter what happens, I'm going to do the best I can. And um, because this man has violated his oath of office, he is becoming a dictator. What is coming if we allow this? The people need to have an obligation and responsibility. We have an obligation and responsibility to fight for our constitutional freedoms, to stand up, to stand up for our constitution. 
our constitution. We, we, that's, that's our obligation and it's our responsibility. And we can do this. We can do this, you guys. <laughs> okay, so those are the laws that were suspended. The mayor, Roth, asked me what laws and I looked them up because I, I, uh, I will be having a meeting with him eventually. And he did uh, say he would do an interview with me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting that on the, on the calendar at some point. So let's just go ahead and do a quick prayer. Great spirit, infinite intelligence of all things. What a game we decided to come play together. This amazing game called being in a human body, called watching our government become dictators, government officials become dictators, and acknowledging our obligation and responsibility to stand up for what is right, for the truth of the Constitution, to not have it absolutely completely ignored and stepped on. And we just give so much gratitude to all of the millions of men and women who fought and died for the Constitution, for the Bill of Rights. We give so much gratitude to their courage and their willingness to be the truth in the light of darkness. And we know that this darkness is leaving the planet. And we know that the government officials that are not standing for the will of the people, which is the first article in the state of Hawaii's constitution, public po political policy, political procedures is the people, the people are the government. The people are the government. And we just give so much gratitude for the truth that is unfolding and for the peaceable removal of these government officials that no longer serve the people. We give so much gratitude for either them voluntarily stepping down or for a miracle showing up. We see it happening. We see it happening that these government officials are peaceably removed from office, all of these government officials who do not stand for the will of the people are peaceably either being removed in a magical miracle way that we have no idea how, or they're voluntarily stepping down for us to have a true government of the people, by the people, for the people once again. We know it is done, Great Spirit. We know that all of the powers, all of the light, all of the truth, that stands in this universe is saying yes to this planet being free, being sovereign, that the lies of doing things for the safety of the people is no more. We just see that for what it truly is. And that is a dictatorship. So we give, we give all of this to you, great spirit. And we trust in our hearts and our minds we trust in our courage. We trust in our kuleana to do what is right. And we know it is done. And we see this world peaceful where all people are free, where all people know that they matter, where our kiki, our children are growing up in a world where they can laugh freely and they can hug freely and they can do what is that they love to do. And that they are truly free to live in harmony with others around the planet and to live in harmony with the Aina, with the earth. We know it is done and we give so much gratitude for all the people around the world standing up for what is right. All the people on the mainland, all the people in Canada, in Mexico, in Europe, in Ukraine, in Russia, in China, in Palestine, in Israel, in Australia, in New Zealand, in all the Hawaii Islands, for all the people who are speaking their truth, for all the people who are saying this is not okay and I will stand and I will do my responsibility and my obligation to what is free, to freedom. I will stand and I will do what is right. We give so much gratitude for them right now, Great Spirit, and for your encouragement and enticement and inspiration that allows each person to follow their instincts so that the world is free and we know it is done. So much gratitude. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, much aloha to you. Um, this world is, is a better place, is totally a better place. 
And we have to have this happen because the, the corporation that is called the United States, it needs to, it needs to go bye-bye. And the people who are the government need to stand up again. And that's you and that's me. And we got this. We can do this, you guys. Trust in your heart. Trust in the beautiful Aina, the beautiful land. And follow your guided inspiration and your intuition. So again, this is Michelle Melendez, BlossomInnerWellness.com. StandTogetherHawaii.com. Please go to StandTogetherHawaii.com. Sign up for my email list because I will be putting this out in an email. The affidavit, once it's ready, I'm going to put it out at StandTogetherHawaii.com. Email list and send it to everybody. And we're going to send it in together. And we're going to stand for truth for what that is. And if you are listening on the voice of Kona radio show, 100.5 FM, you can also find it online. Uh, Much mahalo for doing that. And um, I'll talk with you guys soon. Aloha.